Uh, next on, and uh, thank you, Charles. You're pretty good, man. Next, I want to ask Taylor Mallory and first Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood, you come on up too. Uh, last year, as you recall, we entered into um, new program studies at Cherokee and Volunteer Fire Fire Management Services Program, commonly called Fire Fire Science Program. And we started this program, it's, uh, it was started as part-time at each school, so half a day, a couple of blocks. And that was done with purpose. So it was done to give us enough time to build enrollment in the program and to uh, allow enough growth over the two years that it's going to be funded through grant funds to be able to make it to be able to expand into full time. And, um, Taylor is here today to tell you about the success of that, those programs. She's specifically going to talk to you about the success of the program at Cherokee, although the program volunteers have been very successful as well. And um, but before she does, I want to talk to you for just a moment about this these programs because uh, it, it has surpassed all expectation. Um, when when we first started down all that road really concerned we were going to have a hard time recruiting an instructor. Well, it turns out we had two instructors who applied that were phenomenally qualified. One of them's here with us this evening. Um, and, and they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, I was concerned we, we might have a hard time filling classes, and that's just not the case. Uh, Taylor could tell you a little bit about that. Classes, it's, it's an extremely popular program. We've seen more engagement So we're very thankful that there's a number of uh, first responders here in the audience this evening. We're very thankful for everybody here. You may have seen on Facebook from time to time, <clears throat> Mr. Wood and his counterpart, the volunteer, John Renee, on a regular basis have departments from the community there at the school working with students directly to give them first you know, hand, hands-on training. And they're doing a great, great job. I want to say those things because earlier today I saw on Facebook some rumors going around that we were going to be discussing closing these programs tonight. And I just want to put everybody's mind at ease. We're absolutely not doing that. We have no intention of closing these programs. We don't these programs to continue. So, so with that being said, I want to introduce Taylor Mallory. She's going to tell you about how successful these start off by thanking you guys for allowing us to become a thing at both of these schools. Um, it has not only helped me, but it has also helped students along this wall right here um, move very far, actually. I have been working very hard over the past few weeks to get the numbers and the names of people who have benefited from this program from both both schools, unfortunately, have not been able to get very far with volunteer. But um, I do want to say that so far for next year, for this next semester coming, we have around 55-ish people that have signed up to take this class. And that's just for the first semester. For the second semester, that's a good 34-ish. So right there is two classes both. And I want to say that I do have a number of lists, a big long list actually, of students, you may not be able to read this, but this list is a number of students who have benefited from this program and are all in departments. And if the departments that are here would raise their hand that have students from this program, would raise their hand to recognize how many it has helped quite a few and there are some that could not make it tonight but I do want to say that this program does have a recruitment day coming very soon because we have some seniors and even juniors that are wanting to take this program and do it as a lifetime career and these students along this wall 
maybe even, and some that maybe not been able to make it as long as with myself, want to take this further. And along with the help of Mr. Renee and Mr. Wood, we've been able to do that. So, within that being said, um, even if I just have information at Cherokee, that does not mean that I don't want to volunteer. And I wish there was more that I could do to help volunteer with this. Volunteers' numbers may not be as high, but hopefully we can get them that higher because I want to see this go very far. Um, we have different types of departments and other um, organizations other than FIRE coming in with this program. And May 16th for our career day, we have departments such as EMS, Forestry, Rescue Squad, Military, Navy, National Guard, Kingsport Fire Department, Greenville Fire Department, Highway Patrol, um, as, well, as well as 911 coming in to speak about this. And departments such as Shootersville, Valley, Stanford Valley, and any other ones that I've not named, I'm sorry if I missed you, have all come in to help us and shown us the skills that they do in everyday life, whether it's volunteer or career, have showed us in what little bit of time they could and used their time to devote to us to show us these things. And I'm hoping that that can continue to grow as well with both schools. Thank you. One last thing I want to say about these two programs, or this this program that you're being involved here. One of the things that's most exciting about it to me is it goes beyond just the fire service, and you can see that in Stable's presentation. CTE programs in general, we we strive to reach out and cover a variety of skills, including leadership, public speaking, the ability to do things like this on a regular basis. And both programs, uh, Cherokee and Volunteer, have uh, a variety of students, male and female. Uh, they have students from all walks of life. They have students who would tell you, and you have some information in front of you there provided by Taylor, some first-hand accounts of why this program is important to these students. And they'll tell you that, you know, it was a much give him a hand because he has worked tirelessly to establish this program for students. He's done a very fine job. And and for all the first responders in the room and uh, and those who aren't able to be here, just want to give everybody a hand also for pitching in to help. This is truly a community-based program. I mean, these, these departments are in our schools on a weekly basis helping with these courses. I'm very grateful for that. So thank you all.